EU and US in confusion. Moscow used its cunning oil scheme some journalists once again upset their main customers, represented by the political elite, by revealing a cunning and at the same time elementary scheme for selling Russian oil in circumvention of sanctions. How clever this scheme is, you judge. And we continue. Judging by the excitement among American and European politicians, some in Washington and Brussels were confused by such a simple and brazen decision from their point of view. A little-known and notable transshipment terminal in Egypt helps to circumvent the sanctions restrictions on Russian oil, where forbidden fuel turns into Egyptian without any magic. At the same time, Russian tankers often do not even need to make unnecessary movements, such as the complex procedures required to mix their oil with someone else's. Everything happens exclusively in the offices of local traders and on paper. Ukrainian blogger Dmitry Vazilets ridiculed the reaction of some politicians to the simple trick of Russian oil workers on the air of his channel, ironically noting that ordinary Americans and Europeans were once again shown that anti-Russian sanctions are actually directed only against them. Russia sells its hydrocarbons at a good price to almost the whole world, earning more than usual due to the shortage in the markets. Meanwhile, citizens of the EU and the US are forced to pay exorbitant prices because of the stupidity of their politicians, who are trying to blame all their mistakes on the energy aggressor. For the heads of the EU states, such investigations present unpleasant surprises, forcing them to invent more and more excuses for their voters. Meanwhile, European journalists conducted an investigation and found out how Russia simply bypasses sanctions, and Egypt helps her in this. The scheme is cunning, and at the same time extremely simple. The media report that there are six storage tanks for crude oil, as well as offloading and unloading machinery, located in Alhamra. The terminal was built to transship oil produced in western Egypt. With its help, you can mix Russian raw materials with foreign ones. It turns out that Russian tankers approach the terminal, fill in as much as they need, and their oil turns from Russian into Egyptian. Usually the crew of a tanker does not even bother with complicated procedures. The ship is simply brought to the terminal and stands there for several hours, while all the documents are being processed. Then comes the news that Egypt suddenly increased production dramatically. For some in the EU and the US, this cunning oil scheme has been disconcerting, mostly politicians and their constituents, many of whom firmly believed that Russia was indeed suffering from sanctions. Such an unpleasant Egyptian surprise for all the haters of Russia, Vasilets concluded. Vasilets added that Russia actually circumvents many of the heaviest sanctions through similar schemes. Each such investigation, most likely, strongly affects the reputation of the Western political elite, which they do not particularly like.